Hello, welcome to Inspiron Technologies. I am Aditya Dubey. Today we will talk about PHP. Well, this is a technology that is being used for website designing and the craze of this technology is increasing day by day. People and the even clients are very happy with the development of PHP. They want more and more websites because it is cost friendly as well as the server that is also not very much costly so people are interested to get their product designed on the same website i would like to discuss what actually the features of php how we do the connectivity part in this session and what are the roles that we can uh, what are the further features of php that we can discuss uh, further we will discuss in the other videos well i would like to start from the presentation logic as well as business logic each page has two sections first section is presentation so that presentation part is done with html or html5 is the latest one so presentation part is only that much how your page looks like what your page is all about the presentation part so with there we design forms and the other things like uh, making it putting down putting a picture putting text making a form business logic is something how this particular page works whatever you have presented in the page how it is going to work that's called business logic so the complete idea of business logic we make using php scripting language whereas the presentation part that we make using html5 or css now when we make a form so the form is ended with the form tag after this form tag we have a scriptlet there we write the code of php so we uh, make angular bracket open question mark and uh, again angular back bracket close question mark that's what the script where you can write php code now everybody knows that php does not have predefined data types it has only dollar symbol if you have taken dollar a so whatever value you assign to dollar a let's suppose you assign dollar a uh, you assign 0 so dollar a assignment operator 0 means it represents integer type of variable when you put dollar a assignment operator a certain character a b any any one so that shows that is a character value now dollar a assignment operator inside double quotes aditya so that is what your string type of so php scripting starts right after the form tag you make php script and inside that you take a variable dollar a now there is there are two functions as we know there are two methods in form tag like get and post you must be knowing the differences between get and post like while using post method the data is not displayed on the url while using get method the data is displayed on url so when you use post method there is a function dollar underscore post and when you use get method there is a function dollar underscore get so when you use dollar underscore get and inside that you give you give the name of the uh, parameter also by that text box by which text box you are getting or by which select uh, parameter you are getting so this is how we retrieve values from the input fields after retrieving these values from the input fields we deal with the programming concepts like whatever the programming concepts you know like using if else using for loop using whatever the programming concepts you are free to use because rest of the things are same as you know in c language so that is the basic part of php like how we make a form and how we retrieve values from the form and after retrieving the value we are free to use the uh, you know concepts of c language thanks a lot i will see you in the next session thanks a lot